it is time to brew your best beer. The 2015 SJ Pour Challenge is brought to you by the Grain Bill Homebrew Supply, located in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Brewers Exchange, operating in the U.S. and Canada. Finney's Homebrew Emporium, located in Bishopdale, Christchurch, New Zealand. And Omega Yeast, located in Chicago, Illinois. Barrage Brewer back again. Got my last SJ Pour review to do. So as you can tell, I have a Black Dog glass here to go along with the Black Dog Saloon beer that I'm getting ready to review. So this is Lamro 22's beer. Um, just ended up doing his last. I don't know how it worked out. Um, he did mine first when we went to uh, up to Flying Dog and went to uh, Pat's Fan's house. So this is Black Dog Saloon presents a Black Dog Saloon Classic Virginia Bourbon Vanilla Porter. 8.8% ABV plus bourbon. So Alpha 47-244-06A. Pretty cool little label. And then LJ and Brady say hello. So and then got a cool little woof. Thing on there. Larry's very artistic. Just the arts and crafts. A little hiss. Not a lot, just a little. Ooh, I can already smell some booze coming off of this thing. So, for those at home, see, look at that good dark porter color. Can't even see the black dog once you like dip it down. Good color. You can definitely get get the booze off of this right up front. But underneath that you kind of get that vanilla, like roasted malt kind of smell. So far I'm impressed, Lermo. I'm impressed. So I'm gonna do a quick Oh, this would be a good review. I'll be back after I do it. So I'm back. I just finished doing a. Uh... Lermo's, Lermo's beer, the uh, the bourbon porter, and uh, yeah, this is good. It's a good beer. Uh, right up on the nose, you get the bourbon up front. I mean, obviously, I've had you know quite a bit of it. Um, you get the roasted malts. Uh, there's a hint of vanilla, a little hint of chocolate. You know, just in the aroma. As it's warming up, though, I'm getting more of the bourbon and less of the the other uh, characteristics of the beer. Um, on appearance wise, um, the head kind of like died um, pretty quick. Like I don't know if that's from the bourbon that's in there or what, but like there's CO2 in there, but you don't really get a head and like there's not really any lacing, especially for a beer of uh, of eight eight point eight percent. You'd expect to have some lacing on there. I mean, I guess it's there. I think it's the lack of uh, CO2 that's making that uh, do the same. But otherwise, like. The porter itself is beautiful. It got like right on the tinges, you get like a little little reddish color. It's dark. It's, it's, it's a good looking beer without the head laps there. Flavor, like I said, you know, the nose kind of gets hit by the bourbon. It kind of makes your body mask or your your palate mask the the, the roasted malts and stuff. So um, it's still really good. Like when it was cold, like I could get like the vanilla and the the maltiness and it's very full body beer, like it's great. It's a good beer. Um, so good job, Lermo. It's a good beer. Um, you know, we brew together all the time, so this is a an excellent uh, showcase of the kind of beers that you brew on a day in day out basis. So, cheers, bro. Out here.